Pesha <laughs> So there you have it. I'm joined by Chris Graham, super dope video producer. Oh, come, on now. come on now. And Phil Star, what I was going to say to um, you as to Phil Star was that um, like we, we, we watched the making of, I mean, Lifestyle and Summer looks really, you know, very laid back and very easy going. Is it hard, like in video, it's really important to get up for it. Was it hard to do that, man? Was it like, you know? Well, you got these magic words, MTV. 
and people would just get excited, you know? <laughs> Especially with this guy, you know, enforcing, you're gonna be on MTV. But most of it is, everything is like, we turn up on the day, you know, let's, let's get, you know, you meet your family, you're trying to be, you know, catch no feelings, yeah. and then tell them, okay, are you ready? We're gonna shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, okay, whatever you want, you know, since you're here, oh, we have to do the one. Oh, we're only here for a day, <laughs> so um, we need this shot. And so, yeah, that was our motivation. We got people in, and plus they were just, Happy to see us. So no, for sure, for sure. That beautiful, was it. beautiful video. It looks incredible. That's and just, cool. just talking real quickly to Chris about, because um, obviously Phil Slaw had had his ideas about what he wanted the video. It's, I mean, it, was it a difficult job to convert this into actual pictures this time? Or? No, it was pretty easy actually. This yeah. is like the most unplanned video I've done. And we went there like thinking, let's, you know, just sort of like him seeing in battle rhyme, let's just freestyle it, you know. And Kaz knew what he wanted. He was the translator, literally. Mm -hmm. Like I'd tell people what to do, and then he'd tell them in Samoan, and we'd <laughs> wait and we'd do it. But also, like, you know, he was taking me back to his past and his home and his country. And so he was like, oh, I really want to shoot here because this is the house I grew up in. I'm oh. like, sweet, bro. And we'd shoot it. And I just, I just followed his lead. And we, we sort of, we, we did location scouting for two days and then we shot for two days. So, and it was a, a crew of, like, four people. So it was, like, really simple. Right. So yeah. there you go. So it's not just the pictures you see. There's always meaning, but for, especially for the artist behind what you see in music videos. But before we move on, I just want to ask you real quick, um, about the album. The when, album. When is the album out? Has it got a name? Does the name, the album It's called Break It to Pieces. So that's the album. It like, um, should be in the stores mid-October. And you've, you've, already, you've already heard it, right? I've heard it yeah, lots, man. Yeah, it's amazing. Trip, so. Sub, Submariner produced most of it, and then there's DJ Raw and Juice, and it's like it's like nothing we've heard in hip-hop in this country. It's like a, a different, it's going on a different branch of the tree. That's what we want. Give a quick shout-out before we go. Yeah, quick shout-out, DJ Raw. Big ups, man. Great okay, track. Wish you were there. Ray Hanna, who edited the whole making of all weekend. Amazing. And Fish and Clips and the whole crew. Uh, Fafi Tai Lava. True that. True. Stay and my people progress. <laughs> And my nieces, Jay, Jasmine, and my Jessica. And our family. Thank are this long, man. The soldiers, the Septicons. Stay with us on the holiday. We'll be back soon. Yeah. Yeah. And I'ma be there to blow like C4. C4.